Okay, hello. hello. I am Jack Townsend and I am at the University of Southampton at the moment researching and I'm researching how, and we chose to be researching this really, um, clean web. Um, for me, how can web, how can open data help with the problems of, uh, of climate change? Um, climate change is a really difficult problem, it's really complicated, people really don't understand it very well, um, it's already causing it's probably already causing bad things to happen around the world that are de detrimentally affecting people that's probably going to be a lot worse in the future. But it's a complicated problem. So how do you help people get their heads around it? Um, because a lot of people are very, very confused. Um, and um, confused people like this gentleman here. How, how do you help inform people? How do you help motivate them? So to help with that, the, the World Bank uh, put together uh, has brought together lots of data resources, open data resources and information in this, the Climate Change Knowledge Portal, which I recommend checking out if you're interested. And um, in order to get people to um, do interesting things with that wonderful data that they put out there, they had a competition. Um, and they put that on last year, that was called the, um, uh, was that? It was earlier this year, the Apps for Climate Competition. So when I saw this competition, I was quite excited because it fits in very well with what I've been thinking about around my uh, degree. And so we put a, a team together and we created this, which is uh, Globetown. Um, so Globetown is a way of understanding how we connect with other countries, different countries around the world, how we depend upon them, and how that means that we share things like risks and resp responsibilities and opportunities. Um, especially to do with climate. So at the top you can see the country we're looking at, the UK, and you can see, um, uh, we're looking at the relationship of trade here, but you can look at aid or migration or different sorts of trade, such as fossil fuels. Um, and uh, then, as we all know, well, in theory, the, the three pillars of sustainable development are uh, the economy, the society, and the environment. And down at the bottom of the page, you can find out about um, those three pillars within the country in an awful lot of detail. Uh, specifically with the environment, we go into all sorts of detail around uh, the potential to adapt to climate change, the renewable energies that are used, the potential for more renewable energies, um, and different types of emissions. So if you look at CO2 emissions here, you can see for the UK um, how things have been trending over time and, and how we compare to the, the worst offenders in the world and the, and the best. Um, so we uh, of the people that entered the competition, there were about um, uh, 14 that went out to Washington, the finalists, and we were very happy to, to make it into the top three. That's really they put on a really nice show for us. Um, so, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that evening, um, so you might not recognize this gentleman, so this is with the other British team that made it over there. Um, Robin, and this is us having some fun. After celebrating about two o'clock in the morning, cycling around on our sort of forest bikes around uh, around Washington, <laughs> this lady here is from uh, is Jolene from uh, from uh, uh, Colorado, and at the time Colorado was burning. Colorado was having enormous wildfires, um, and indeed across the whole of the states it was incredibly hot while we were out there. So hot, in fact, that the the bus that we took, the Greyhound, up from Washington to New York broke down. And uh, here's me. Um, Hitchhiking, and we had to hitchhike all the way. Um, so this is a—I don't know—I guess that kind of brought home to us. Climate change was, you know, happening in the states, and it was having an impact on the infrastructure there. So, so yeah, in terms of how we're going to take this forward, uh, I, I guess the main place we think about is schools because um, it's a very educational sort of a tool, and it's interactive, and it's a lot more fun to use than the, the World Fat Book, we hope. And uh, something that I'm interested in personally is. Um, renewables for international development and how, and I can actually see a way of working that through perhaps through a sort of mechanism like crowdfunding where a future version of Globetown could allow you to not just look at different countries but perhaps even invest in interesting projects. And through things like that, we'd like to go beyond exploring the links that we have with other countries, which we are doing at the moment, to um, thinking about how we can create new positive ones that can help um, deal with some of the challenges of climate change. A quick plug for the Open Knowledge Festival, which is taking place um, next week in um, Helsinki, where we have a sustainability stream, where we'll be thinking about lots of these sorts of issues, and um, it's being streamed on podcasts, so do check that out. And 
that's it really. So yeah, check out the site if you get a moment. Um, it was just the very first version um, and we'd love to hear your ideas um, if you had any for how to take it forward as a project. So thank you.